this video, we're going to create a grass billboard material for our Megascans grass. We're doing this for two reasons. First, we want to make the grass billboards render more efficiently so their material is a little bit cheaper. And second, we want better lighting on the billboards so that they match our regular grass. Let me show you the problem. As I move around my environment, you can see that the foreground grass looks pretty nice, but the grass off in the distance looks kind of not that great. And when I transition from the good looking grass to the billboard grass, uh, there's a really distinct difference uh, between the appearance of these two and the billboard grass just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Let's switch over to the grass mesh and I'll show you why that is. Here's the grass mesh that we're rendering in the foreground. And you can see that this looks really nice and realistic. But if I come over here to the LODs and drop down to our last LOD, you can see that the grass in the distance is just two billboards uh, that are crossed with each other. Now, if we leave these like they are and they light as if they're just flat polygons, the lighting on the billboard is gonna be really bad. And so we're gonna make a custom material for this last LOD grass billboard. Uh, number one, so that it'll render more efficiently and number two, so that it will blend and light as if it were actually more detailed grass uh, like this, um, but still rendering quickly as a billboard. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out what material that we're using currently and then duplicate it so that we can make a custom billboard material for our grass. So if we select our last LOD here in the mesh and we come over here to the material, you can see that it's using this uh, billboard instance. And if I double click on that to open it up and we scroll down here to the material it's using, it's using the foliage material, which is the same material that's applied to the regular grass. So we wanna make a duplicate copy of this foliage material and then customize it to do what we want it to do. So let's come over here to our content browser and I'm gonna come up here to MS Presets. MS stands for Mega Scans. We're gonna open this up and here's our foliage material. This is the one that's currently applied to both the foreground grass and the distant billboard grass. So I'm gonna right click on this and pick duplicate. And instead of calling this foliage material, and so we're gonna call this foliage material billboard. And then I'm gonna open up our material. So this is the foliage material that comes with mega scans. And there's one main difference um, between the one that comes with Megascans and this one, and that is we've added this per instance fade amount. Uh, we did that last week so that our grass would fade out nicely at the end. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, last week's video, I'll put a link to it down in the description. This is a wonderful addition because it makes the grass fade out nicely instead of popping. So you're definitely going to want to do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just delete a couple of things here because we want to optimize this material so it runs more efficiently. We're gonna delete our roughness. So I'm just gonna select these nodes and, and hit delete. And instead of having a texture to define the roughness, uh, I'm just gonna add a constant roughness of one so that it's the grass billboards are just always 100% rough. And then the other thing that I'm going to delete is the wind. Because we're dealing with billboards, uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, geometry there to wiggle around in the wind. And so uh, the wind is just kind of uh, a useless addition that makes our shader more expensive without actually benefiting anything. All right, so we've simplified our material just a little bit. The last thing that I'm gonna do with our material is I'm gonna delete the normal map. Now this is something that you may choose not to do if you want your billboard material to look a little bit uh, nicer. 
Uh, but in my case, I want my billboard to render as efficiently as possible. And so I'm gonna get rid of the normal map here. Uh, so that we're just sampling as few textures as we can. Now, we're only sampling three different textures at this point. We're sampling a diffuse, an opacity, and a translucency. And if I wanted to simplify this even more, I could update this material so that the opacity and the translucency textures were combined into one texture. I put the translucency in the red, green, and blue channels and the opacity in the alpha channel. That way our material would only be sampling two textures instead of three. That would be even more efficient. I'm not gonna do that today. That's something that you could do on your own if you wanted to make this material even more optimized. Okay, now the last thing that we need to do to our material is fix the normals. Let me switch back here to our scene again, and I wanna show you what's going on with the normals. If we switch from lit mode to world normal mode, you can see that the grass here in the front has these really natural looking normals. But then as soon as I switch to the billboards in the background, uh, the, the normals on the grass are flat and pointing in the direction of the billboard. And each billboard is, because the grass clumps are uh, rotated randomly, each billboard is facing a different direction. If you can see these grass clumps in the front, uh, they look more like they're facing toward the camera, but the billboards in the back don't match at all. And so it makes this really weird shift in lighting from our foreground normals to our background normals. Now, in order to fix that, let's come over here to our material again. To represent the normal of the billboard, I'm gonna create a VEC3 node with 001 uh, as our value. And this is just a flat tangent space normal. Now we know that our billboards are two-sided, and so if our normal is facing toward me, uh, I need it to be 001, but if it's facing away from me, I need to flip it. And so in order to do that, I need to add the two-sided sine node. And I'm gonna multiply our 001 value by this two-sided sine node so that we can flip our normal if the back side of the billboard is facing us. All right, the next thing that I wanna do is transform our normal so that it's pointing toward us, pointing toward the camera. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna use a node called uh, Speed Tree Billboard Normals. And what this does is it takes our regular tangent space normal and points it toward us, uh, kind of uses the camera vector as the normal uh, instead of the surface normal. And uh, what this is gonna do is it's gonna make our normal feel much more natural and it's gonna match the normal of the billboard grass. Uh, instead of using the direction that each of the billboards is pointing, it's gonna use the camera direction so that the normals face toward the camera. And then the result of this speed tree billboard normals is a normal in world space. And so we actually need to transform that uh, so that it's back in tangent space because when we plug our normal into the root node over here, it's expecting a tangent space normal. And so I'm just going to add a uh, a transform vector node and we're going to plug the result of our speed tree billboard normals here that's in world space into our transform vector and now the next step that I'm about to show you is really important you can see that currently our transform vector node is set from tangent space to world space but here we can see that our normal coming in is already in world space and so what we need to do is come over here and switch it so that we say, okay, the, the normal coming in is in world space and we want to transform it to tangent space. So I'm just swapping those two. And so now we're gonna get uh, our normal coming in in world space and going out in tangent space. 
Okay, I'm just going to delete these leftover nodes from the previous material. Then I'm going to clean this tree up just a little bit and move our normal nodes into the normal group here and then plug these in to our normal socket. And so this is going to give us a normal that is pointing toward the camera and it's going to feel significantly more natural uh, than the previous normal that we had. I'm going to hit save here. And so this is going to be our new foliage uh, material billboard. So let's come back here to our uh, grass instance. And right now it's using the foliage material and I'm just going to switch it. So that instead of using the foliage material, it's going to use the foliage billboard material that we just created or foliage material billboard that we just created. So I will save this material instance and let's switch, switch back to our world and see what we're getting now. All right, so if we take a look now, you can see that our grass clumps in the distance are no longer lighting as though they were billboards. The lighting on the grass clumps is significantly smoother looking. And if we switch over to our normal map view, our world normal, you can see that the normals on the background uh, billboard grass are matching much more closely to the normals in the foreground. This is gonna fix our lighting problem. However, there is still one more problem. If we look at our grass again, you can see that the grass in the background is significantly lighter than the grass in the foreground. So let's fix that. Let's come back here to our uh, billboard material instance. And here we have our color overlay for the albedo color. Uh, one more time, if we look at our world, and if we switch over to unlit mode, uh, we can use this to uh, test our grass. Uh, you can see that the grass in the foreground matches the landscape, but the back grass in the background is significantly brighter. And in order to fix this, we can just come here to our material instance. And uh, for this color overlay, I'm going to set this value to a value of 0.5 and turn it on. And the reason that this uh, brightness differential is happening is because this texture here is uh, maybe just slightly brighter than its equivalent on the regular grass. And so we're gonna fix that by just overlaying uh, a value of 0 0.5 here in the albedo overlay. And I'll save that. And here you can see that it hasn't quite done what we're looking for, and so let's tune it a little bit. I'm gonna come back here, and instead of 0.5, maybe we'll use an overlay value of 0 0.3. And I'll save this and switch back again. And yeah, that did it for us. Now you can see that the grass in the foreground and the grass in the background blend really nicely together. Let's switch back to our lit mode here. Now you can see there's still an issue where the grass in the foreground is darker uh, in some places and the grass in the background is brighter in some places and that difference is being caused by uh, the translucency of the grass. So I'm going to come back here to our uh, grass instance material again and I'm going to come back down here to our subsurface scattering color intensity and I'm going to check this on and just turn our intensity of our subsurface scattering down to 0 0.5 uh, and both of these settings the color overlay and the uh, color subsurface scattering color intensity are just set up to help us match the foreground grass with the background grass just a little bit better all right and now you can see that our billboard material applied to our background grass uh, is matching our foreground grass pretty well it's maybe a little bit darker in some places i might want to tune that value just a little bit but uh, for the most part, uh, we've solved uh, both of the issues that we started out to solve. Uh, our grass uh, no longer looks really weird in the lighting in the background, and our material is just a little bit more efficient because we're only sampling three textures instead of five like we were before. Okay, cool. So for the last thing today, I'm going to swap out uh, our grass material here with 
uh, the full version of with all of the grass. And we're going to go for a bit of a run with our mannequin character to see what our landscape looks like. All right, so here we are in, envir in our environment. And you can see that I can uh, run around with our character. We're no longer getting any popping from our foreground grass to our background grass. And our background grass is lighting really nicely. The lighting on the background grass for the most part uh, matches the foreground grass pretty well. It blends in and so the transition between the two is not quite as obvious. Uh, you can see just like we did in uh, last week's video, in our foreground our grass is fairly dense. Then it thins out in the background uh, to save on performance so, so we're not killing the frame rate of our game. Uh, but we've achieved what we set out to do and I'm pretty happy with this result. We're able to create a custom billboard material uh, for our last law billboard grass uh, so that it still looks good, uh, but we're also rendering it efficiently with those nice uh, uh, billboard lods. So, pretty cool. Thanks a lot for watching everybody and be sure to come back next week for more uh, landscape material goodness.